All right, what's happening everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Whether you are on the podcast or looking at this on YouTube, today we are going to... Uh, yeah, I'm weird, it's all good. Today we are going to discuss the boning helix fletching jig. Um, hold on, let me turn this down because I'm getting sh shit. Turn down. Okay. Okay. Cool. The Boning Helix uh, Fletching Jig, it is an all plastic construction. Um, has a handy, you know, knob with each click. So, I mean, that's pretty good functionality. Um, I assume that there is some way uh, to change it. It says a one and a two, so I assume that there is some way to change it uh, so that it does like three flights and four flights, but I honestly don't know. I'm not a huge fan of uh, this fletching jig. Um, however, it's got the, the knob over here to raise and lower the shaft of your arrow so that you make sure you have full fletching contact, which is simple. Um, the thing that I do not like about the fletching gig, I'm gonna get a little closer here to the camera, is that you can see this is the deal that holds uh, your fletching, okay? See the little tiny plastic clips? Well, what you do is you set it over like this, okay? But what's wrong is these plastic clips slowly work their way up and it moves and it jockeys around. So you no longer really have the kind of fletching contact that you are needed. Um, also, I noticed uh, that anytime you try and move this up and down, see how it just popped off by itself? Um, so you have to be super, super careful and super precise, and you have to literally hold it down on all four corners as you are gluing on your fletching. So that is super, super annoying. Um, and for as expensive as it was, I don't think that should be an issue that you have to deal with. So um, so that's, that's probably the thing that bothers me the most um, you could probably buy new ones of these. This one is a three degree right helix. Um, you could probably buy more of these. Um, if you can't, it's completely stupid, you know, because what happens if you don't want a three degree right helix? I guess you shouldn't buy this jig. <laughs> but if you can, then obviously it would clip on just like this and you would have the exact same issues that you have with this one. <coughs> um, I also had issues now, granted, there is uh, like a tape slash foil stuff that you're supposed to put in here. Um, I don't know, I couldn't find mine in the box, so I don't know if it just didn't come or I don't know. Anyways, I also had issues with it getting stuck on this, uh, I'm just gonna call it the fletching holder because I don't know what it's called. It gets stuck on the fletching holder and when you pull it off, it would also pull your fletching off with it. And that just pisses a guy off when you are in the middle of fletching arrows and you pull half of them off. Um, <laughs> that is quite frustrating. So, um, you know, one thing that is nice, obviously, is it's got the, the pre-drilled holes in the base so that you can screw it down onto the table. Um, I think that's super beneficial because it's a real pain in the ass trying to fletch arrows when your jig is moving around and all that jazz. So. Yeah, so that is the Boating Helix Fletching Jig. Um, on a scale of one to 10, is it tough? Well, yeah, it's not like you're gonna be throwing a fletching jig in your backpack and running down the hill, right? Um, it, it is an all plastic construction though, so it's not like a, like a Bits and Burger. 
Um, this is all plastic, so uh, so yeah. So let's go with a six or seven, uh, just purely because it's all plastic, and I just don't like plastic shit. <laughs> uh, would you recommend it to a friend? No, I would not. Uh, purely because this thing is such a pain in the ass. And every time, see look at that. that, that is a perfect example. So you watch as I slide it back, see how it's working its way up? And then it just comes off. And then you're just sitting here and you're holding it down, you're just pissed off. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, so no, I would not recommend it to a friend. On a scale of one to 10, do you get what you bought, pay for? No, absolutely not. Uh, I'm not even going to raise scale at 1 to 10. I'm just going to say no. <laughs> so, there you have it. The boating um, Helix fletching jig. Uh, if you are 100% interested in a 3 degree right handed Helix um, and you don't fletch that many arrows, this may work great for you. Just pay attention to holding it down. Uh, holding this plastic part down. If you do fletch a lot of arrows, I would not get this. I would not get this. So anyways, Zach Harold here. Thank you so much for tuning in to Archery Maniacs Gear Review. Stay tuned next week because we discuss the Manfrotto Be Free Tripod. Thanks guys.